Like as the waves make towards the pebbled shore, so do our minutes hasten to their end. Each changing place, with that, with goes before, in sequent toil, all forwards do contend. Nativity, once in the main of light, crawls to maturity, wherein being crowded, crooked ellipses against his glory fight, and time that give thou now his gift comfort. Time thou transferred the flourish set of youth and delves the parallels in beauty's brow, feeds on the radifies of nature's truth. Nothing stands for his scythe to mow. But yet, to times in hope my verse shall stand, praising thy worth despite his cruel hand. This poem is about time, human life, and how fast time passes. The first line is comparison of nature and time. Shakespeare states that each minute replaces one another like waves on a pebble shore. The next quadrant talks about human life by comparing it to the sun. At birth, we are like the sunrise, small and innocent. When the sun reaches noon, we have reached maturity, but then is undone by crooked eclipses. The next quadrant is a depiction of time as a ravaging monster. Time halts youth. Digs wrinkles into the brow. And mows down the s with the scythe that everything that stands. As you can tell in this quadrant, it talks about how time destroys the human body, emotionally and physically. In this couplet, Shakespeare talks about even though how time continues on, you should live life to the fullest and praise the beloved. Shakespeare organizes this sonnet into three quadrants and a couplet. The first quadrant is about time and how time passes. The second quadrant is about human life. The last quadrant talks about how time destroys human life. The couplet talks about even though time passes, humans should appreciate what comes toward them and honor the beloved.